Friends and colleagues, I am honored and proud to be here. I am honored and proud to be a he for she champion. But it's more than that. It's my duty. Some 70 years ago, the principle of equality was enshrined in the United Nations Charter. There were 160 signatories. Guess how many were women? Four. Four out of 160. In Iceland, the uh, movement towards gender equality started perhaps in 1915, when women got the vote uh, for parliamentary elections. In the 1920s, we had our first female member of parliament. In the 1930s, there was a young schoolgirl named Vigdís. Try to pronounce that later on if you can. Vigdís. Keep that name in mind. It's better than her last name. I'll come to that later on. <laughs> in 1980, Vigdís became the first democratically elected female head of state. It was a close call. It was a tightly run contest, as presidential elections sometimes are. And during the campaign, one person asked Vigdís, why should I vote for you? Should I vote for you because you're a woman? Oh, no, Vigdís replied. If you want to vote for me, vote for me because I am a human being. So Vigdís Finnbogadóttir became the president of Iceland, and I am so proud to be able to follow in her footsteps. But it is my duty as well to do what I can to enhance further gender equality. We have made positive steps in Iceland. We have enjoyed uh, affordable childcare. We have uh, parental leave for both men and women. I can tell you a thing or two about that. I've used it five times myself. <laughs> we have for more than 50 years. Yeah, no worries. We have for more than 50 years. For more than 50 years, we have had a law on equal pay, a very simple law. Men and women should receive the same amount of money for what they're doing, for the work. But some way or another, it didn't produce the desired result. So, as has been mentioned here, just recently, we passed in Iceland a legislation making sure that for equal pay, for equal work, you get equal pay. I encourage you to look at this legislation to see if you, in your country, can use it as a blueprint. Because I am sure that this is the way forward. A recent OECD survey demonstrated that where there is greater gender equality, people are happier, better off, they trust each other better. It is to the benefit of all of us. We cannot change the past. We cannot change the fact that out of the 160 signatories of the UN Charter, there were four women. But we can influence and change the future. So let us work on that together. We want a level playing field. I want my daughters, my two daughters, to enjoy the same rights as my three sons. I don't want it just for them. I want it for me as well, and I want it for other daughters, other women, other girls, as I want it for other sons and other men. Because when we strengthen each other as individuals, we strengthen ourselves as a society to the benefit of all of us. So let's just work toward this lofty goal together. Look at our good example in Iceland. I'm not saying we're perfect, far from it. And modesty is a virtue. We have so much to do further. But maybe we can teach you a thing or two about the way to move forward. So, dear friends, I am proud to be a he for she champion. Let's work together. Thank you very much. Thank you.